Hilda da Silva learned to drive three years ago to help her daughter with her newborn grandson. Navigating São Paulo's traffic took a toll on her health. She ended up at the doctor's office. Since then, Hilda gets a monthly prescription to pick up anti-anxiety medication at the public pharmacy. Sometimes we hear people saying that these kinds of meds can be dangerous, that they can be addictive. I've been taking it for a few years, so last time I asked the doctor if it was all right. And he said that if I was feeling okay, I should stay on the medication. Psychiatric medications are in high demand here. Some are colored with a black stripe that indicates higher risk. The pills mostly to treat depression, anxiety, epilepsy and, to a lesser extent, psychosis. From 2010 to 2014, São Paulo health authorities say the number of such pills dispensed by the city for psychiatric disorders has grown by more than 50 percent. Psychiatrists say more medicine is being prescribed because access to specialized care has been expanded over the last few years. We have a demand that has not been attended in the last years. So when you start to improve access and actually probably, you know, decreasing a little bit of the obstacles to look for psychiatric treatments like stigma, you know, and so um, the number is increasing. Brazilian mental health care professionals welcome the growing attention given to the patient's psychological well-being. However, some are concerned with overuse and warn that medications are only efficient in the long term if coupled with psychotherapy. São Paulo's Seda Sapienti Institute is a traditional psychotherapy school that also offers pro bono treatment for low income or vulnerable patients. But one director says that's far from enough to make up for a large repressed demand not served by the public health services. In theory, all public health facilities should also have psychologists for the population, but the demand for service is much greater than the availability of professional help, so actually people end up waiting months to get an appointment. Even with around 50 percent more patients taking antidepressants, the Federal University of São Paulo estimates another 50 percent of people with clinical depression remain untreated. Paulo Cabral, CCTV, São Paulo.